Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux review first impressions. However, this isn't going to be the review you're used to and it may not be the review you want to hear. Today I am looking at Ubuntu 15.04. Not Kubuntu, not Zubuntu, not all the other Buntus that are out there, but the Ubuntu. The one you get when you think, I want to try Linux. I don't know much about it, but what's the easiest one out there? For many years, I used to tell people, if you want to get your feet wet, try Ubuntu. It's the easiest to install. It has great features. It's a wonderful tool for the newbie to get to know Linux. Sadly, in my opinion, that is out the door, out the window, and everywhere else. And I blame it on Unity. Nothing worse than Unity. Unity means that people are together, that things are one. And Ubuntu is far from that in its vanilla source with Unity. I spent a couple hours scouring the web after installing Ubuntu just to figure out that right here the littlest of things with the window decoration which in KDE and just about everywhere else you can change you can change the icons you can change the look you can change it to the right the left you can make it disappear but in unity you get what you get you don't throw a fit because you don't have a choice when you're with this it frustrates me to even review Ubuntu now before I get a lot of hate before I get a lot of people out there saying Das Gregor what are you talking about let me first say these are my opinions these are my own conclusions and right or wrong, they're still my conclusions, they're still my opinions. And my opinions aren't worth diddly. Because if it works for you and you're happy with the flavor, if you're happy with what they have given you, and you don't want to change, you know, it kind of reminds me of another big corporation out there that makes their products and pretty much doesn't give you a choice to customize them, doesn't give you a choice to make them the, your own gives you what you get and because you don't know better but you know what I like choice and I like to change things up I like to make things look good with unity I don't feel like I have that chance but that being said that being my opinions that you may not agree with and I hope you've watched so far into this video before you went, Das Greg, that's that stupid moron! I hope that you will listen further. Ubuntu still has always been a very strong, good Linux distribution. There are many different distributions out there that base themselves off of Ubuntu because it has a very good package manner manager it has a very good easy method to install software to go further to really get into the depths of Linux without having to feel afraid of a Gen 2 distribution or a distribution that is a little bit more difficult to wrap your hands around Ubuntu has some great things out there and they're doing a lot for the community they're doing a lot for other Linux systems out there they're starting to get into phones and different other aspects to build their brand a little better now there are a lot of things about Ubuntu's management that I disagree with and I don't like the fact that they're trying to shy away from the Linux name and shy away from the penguin and try to you know 
we're not really Linux anymore, blah, 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 blah. But it's still a very good hardcore distribution that you can be proud to work with. Just not Unity. <laughs> I've tried different flavors of Kubuntu. I've liked them a lot. I've tried Zubuntu. I like it a lot. Scientific, no, 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 no. Edge, you know, they had the education version of Ubuntu. They have just, my mind could go on for all of those different ones that I would rather be just looking at than this particular flavor of Ubuntu. This one gives you so little, but if we look at what we get, it is solid. You've got pretty much everything you need in a distribution right up front. It's very easy to install. There are a lot of little pet peeves. For instance, when I first set up this system, I ended up having to turn off a lot of the search features. I and mean, when I click this little button here, and as you can see, I have cheese there because I'm using cheese instead of the, my favorite GUVC view. GUVC view just does not work very well in Kaboom or KDE or scratch that. This is why I don't edit, but you get all the mistakes. In, in Unity here, it's, it's slow. I was getting poor frame rates, so I'm using cheese. It's a little bit better, but I'm still not impressed with it. I see a lot of fragmentation and blurring. But any which way, I'm glad at least in here you can turn off a lot of these categories and sources. I don't want to search Amazon when I'm looking for applications. I don't want to search, you know, other online resources. I just want to find my applications. And since you don't give me an application manager that I see, and I'm sure there's probably something in here. If I continued on, you know, there you go. You've got this part here, and if you're looking for files, most likely, and videos and music, it's all there. This is hard for me to do, I'll be honest. I keep wanting to go back to the negative because there are so many things in this little distribution that just tweak my hide. I just don't care for them. I'm a KDE man at art. <laughs> I prefer the KDE flavor. I've been using it since way back, almost the 2.x days. But I'll be honest, when KDE went from 3 to 4, I was very upset with it. And in fact, I actually switched over to Linux Mint at that time and took on the GNOME shell. Unfortunately, that's right about the time GNOME went from 2.x to 3.x and in my opinion completely ruined the interface of GNOME. So most of my problems with Ubuntu is because it runs Unity and the new GNOME. But the good thing about that is just like any other Linux distribution you can very easily change that, you can very easily customize that, you can put it the way you like it. So if you go into for instance this little Ubuntu Software Center. Then you can open this up and you can look in there and I believe I could find Kubuntu. Well there's the restricted extras and there's the educational desktop. Okay, I lie. Ubuntu Software Center, it doesn't have everything I'm looking for. So one thing I found I had to install Synaptic Package Manager. I can't spell my name. But that isn't the password. <laughs> in here, I know I can type in Kubuntu. And I can't remember. It's something. But you see, I got a lot more options to choose from. Kubuntu Desktop. There we go. For this, I could choose this. It could install everything, make it all magic, make all the pain go away. <laughs> Give me what I want. But I figured if I'm gonna re if I'm gonna review something, if I'm gonna look at something that somebody wants me to look at, I gotta look at what they've given me, what Ubuntu gives you out of the box, 
without having to think that I'm going to Kubuntu or Zubuntu, etc., etc., etc. Honestly, I don't like what I see. There's a lot of fluff. There's a lot of commercialism. There's a lot of stuff that I don't care for in a Linux distribution, which is why I go with Gen 2, which is why I go with being able to install exactly what I want. The good thing is, though, a lot of this stuff can be customized, so you can get rid of it. I didn't like, for instance, when I first started looking for an application, that it's sending me to a wiki page. I want to install the thing. I don't want to learn about the thing. I know about the thing. I don't need to go to wiki to find out GUVC view. I know what GUVC view is. Or GUCV. GUVC. <laughs> you know what I mean. Any which way. In regards to that, it was kind of neat that when I first started looking up something like GUVC view, that it gave me the icon, but it was under it wasn't under applications it was actually under another resource that was point a reference that's what it was you see if it pops up this time I don't know if it will I had something on there that it did that <sighs> you know how all your demonstrations they go out the window as soon as you hit the record button it's like when your kids are jibber jabber in a way, and you think, "Oh, they're being so cute." I'm gonna get out the camcorder. I'm gonna record this for posterity. So you get out that camcorder, and you're like, "Okay, do something cute." It's a moving picture. Say something. Do something. So you get frustrated. You turn off the camera, and five seconds later, there, there they go, jibber jabbering again. Sometimes I feel that way when I'm trying to give a demonstration, I'm trying to show my point, and it just falls all apart. <laughs> anyway, like I said, this isn't the kind of review that you're going to be used to. It's a little different than the whole, hey, this is Ubuntu, look at this, look at that. This is my rant, this is my rage, this is my opinion, and it is what it is, mistakes included. I don't like to edit, so it's one take all the time. Ubuntu, like I said, has a lot to offer. There's a lot in here. There's a lot to think about. It gives you what you need to do the job for Linux. It's a good starting point, but I find that there are many other flavors out there that either are Ubuntu-based, Debian-based, etc. that can be just as user-friendly now with all the benefits of the Debian or Ubuntu packaging and the way it uses the repositories. I like how easy it is for me to get Simple Screen Recorder, for instance, to work on Ubuntu. Debian used to be a nightmare, and if I tried it on other flavors, it was even worse in the dependency craze. But Ubuntu makes it quite easy for me. Very simple to add the right repository and then install what I need to make it work. Things like that make a difference to me and I think Ubuntu does a really good job with that. I do wish though that they would do something about their strict this is what you get and I noticed there used to be I tried installing all kinds of things like tweaks. You know, I tried the Unity tweak tool. You know half of Unity tweak tools doesn't work anymore in 15.04. They have decided that they're going to break that off and you can't do it anymore. I've tried this other tweak tool with the GNOME tweak tool. I've tried the gconf thing and the dconf thing and all these command line dis things to, to change things the way I want to see them, the way I want to feel familiar with. Now some people might say, you know, after a couple of months you'll get used to always going to the left hand side of your screen for those buttons. You'll never ever miss them being on the right side until you get to all the other things out there that use things on the right side. It's a preference. It's a choice. I like choices. I like freedoms. Unfortunately, just like everything else in life right now, we're losing our freedoms. We're losing our choice because evidently as I read in one developer's comment, the developers of this have decided that this GUI interface is what they need to go forward. That's pretty dang poor in my book. If you as a creator have to force a GUI onto someone for some unknown reason to make it work, golly, I think that you'd be able to do something better than that. 
Oh, well. I'm not even sure I can call this a first impressions because I've looked at Ubuntu in the past, and like I said, I used to recommend it to a lot of people. I don't need more. But at least they're out there. And at least they give you a good foundation for many other Ubuntu-based distros to take it, run with it, and make it so much better. My opinion slash suggestion for all of you who like Ubuntu or think that's something you want to go to in the future, if this is what you like, that's fine. But if you really want choice about how something's going to look, how it's going to run, check something else out. There's a lot of other good stuff out there. I've reviewed a lot of good other distributions that give you the ability to have that strong, robust backbone that Ubuntu offers without being forced into the way it looks. Yeah, I, I noticed when you go to the control panel, for instance, and you look at the system settings, you got so very little that you can do. I went to the appearance, for instance, thinking that I could change this. You go to behavior, what is that? One or two little things, that's it. You go to other settings, and it's like, there's just nothing. It's like, where are my settings? Where are my choices? Where can I customize and make this just the way I want it to be? No. No, sadly, that's what they have decided you should have. Yeah, I guess I just harp on the fact that I like freedom, and I like choice, and I like to customize, and I like to tweak till my heart's content. Now, kind you, that's tweak, not twerk. No one wants to see me twerk. And that said, I've said too much. If it's morning, evening, noon, or night, whatever you're having, thank you if you're still watching. Thank you for giving me my chance to rant and rave. Goodbye, guys.